So I've been creating a little boy character in Nomad Sculpt, and I've been using Dolly AI to generate uh, concept art images. And here we have this uh, boy so far. I have not created his clothing yet because I want to kind of experiment with that a bit. And um, in that vein, I'm going to create shoes today. And I'm going to use uh, Dolly again to create some shoe ideas. And then I'm going to go from there. So I already ran um, a search. And I've got a few cool shoe ideas here um, based on my search. And I really like some of them. And I think I'm going to uh, join a bunch together in order to make what I specifically want. I especially like that second option, the one with the blue. So um, I'm going to go with that as my main idea here. So now that I've got the base of this boy's body constructed, I don't really need the reference image of him. I need a reference, a new reference image. So if you go to that little picture icon uh, at the top, and if you don't have reference image, it might look like that. You just want to click Okay, and then you click on the image again and I can import. I made a, a combined image with a bunch of them and then you can move it around by just adjusting the settings. Um, I wanna fit them all in the screen, on screen. So I think that'll be about right for this. And I'm just gonna start sculpting. Usually with uh, shoes, I've done hard surface modeling for shoes. I just found it easier, but I'm gonna give it a go and try to sculpt the shoes and then I'll retop them and then I'll bring them into Maya. Okay, so we're gonna have to add a shape. I think a box will be our best shape. We'll find that box. Definitely need to bring it, make it smaller in all ways. Um, actually, I want to grab my gizmo. I'm gonna validate it, even though it's gigantic. I can change the size here. I'm gonna make the shoes to the side of my character so that I am getting the sizing right, but I don't necessarily wanna put them on him just yet. So we've got that base and the base of this shoe is sort of rounded. Let's see how wide it needs to be. Quite a bit wider. I have temporary feet on him at the moment, so that's why his feet look so crazy. Um, I really do like the shape of the foot I have, so I might be able to just break that off and use it myself for the top part of the shoe, but right now I'm just getting that rubber bottom that all these shoes seem to have. I really like that, that element. If I click the little ball at the top right, I can change perspectives. So that's the front, click the side, you can see the side, turn it around, click the back, you'll get a few a full back view. Okay, I'm liking it. I'm gonna turn on symmetry for this, which is up at the top. Uh, you'll see symmetry drop down, but that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the top left there, symmetry. I'm gonna make it overly, oops, I've moved the pivot. I turned pivot off, okay. I'm gonna uh, make it overly big because I'm gonna start um, smoothing it out and it'll lose some of its volume. So I clicked the smooth brush, it's way too small. So I'm smoothing out all these corners, kind of giving it that rounded feel and really working on that. That's gonna be the goal for this element of the shoe. And I find even an app that's so simple and um, basic compared to your other sculpting apps, like Nomad compared to ZBrush, uh, can do a lot if you break things down into small chunks and retop everything. So even though I'm not going to build the cool top-of-the-line sculpts that you see in ZBrush, the, 
the combination of everything together at the end of the day um, does look really good. And it looks like something that you, you know, made on a more advanced software than just, you know, a sculpting app on the iPad, which I think is cool. You can do a lot with this tool and breaking it down is definitely helpful. So I'm going to just continue to round this out. I'm doing it subtly because I want to really see how it's going as I do it. And this sculpt is not going to look like just one of these shoes. It's going to look like all of them in a certain, in different ways. I'm going to take elements from each. Um, but mainly my favorite is the middle one. Okay, so I'm changing my gizmo, flattening it out a bit. I'm placing it just to see what it looks like. I'm liking it, but I like it to be a little bit bigger, like that middle one. And probably bigger in always. Yeah, I want a chunky, chunky shoe. Um, okay. For now, the bottom is okay. There's probably some stuff I'm going to do to that, but for, ooh, for now, I'm just going to grab, oh, I've got symmetry on still, turn symmetry off. I'm going to move it to the side because I'm going to steal the boy's shoes. But before I do that, I'm going to just save this as shoes because I have it saved as the boy. Boy seven, I'll call it. Okay. I want to make sure I do that before I do anything else. I've got a full front view here and I'm going to trim off the feet. So I want to do a pretty clean trim. So I'm selecting rectangle on the left. Um, I want high tops. So I'm going to trim them about there. Um, unfortunately, I trimmed my boy character, which is not what I meant. So I guess when you trim, you're trimming the thing in white. Um, and I had it backwards for a second there, but we're good. All good. Um, sorry guys, I'm just experimenting. I'm going to duplicate his body and do it that way. I think that'll be the best way to maintain what I have. So that's his body. I'm going to clone that. And by clicking clone, then I get my gizmo. Ooh, Ayla. There, get my gizmo and turn off symmetry and move it to the side. Okay, he is the shoe body. That is our shoe body. And now we can trim. So we're gonna trim off about that much. There we go. That's still probably like, we probably are gonna need more than that or less high top than that, but that's okay. We're gonna move, um, I'm gonna, the pivot, I want to reset. So I, on the left, clicked pivot and then reset because that gives us good control over, over this where we need it. Moving it to the side a bit because I want to... I don't need two shoes, so I'm going to delete the, set, the other one, the other part to this foot uh, by clicking the trim. Oh, I was on our, our guy again. So there we go. There, deleted that. Okay, so now we can just focus on the one because we don't need two in this phase. Keep the work less and we'll do more later. Um, I think our best bet now would be to add, uh, I'm feeling like a cylinder might be the right choice to the top part to beef up that, that leg. Let's just do that. Cylinder find our little cylinder or our big cylinder as it is. Um, I'm going to hit the radius and just at this point, change it up a bit, make sure that it's representing the shape I want. So you can change the top part to be as wide or as thin as you want. And then the bottom, and I'm noticing that these are just a little thinner on top. So I'm going to validate that so I can scale it the way I like. That 
turns off your option to change the radiuses, so just be aware of that. Okay. Here's another simple shape we're going. I really love doing shoes for my characters. Something about a, a well-designed shoe just elevates your character. I don't know what it is, but of all the pieces of clothing, it's like the most important to me. I think there's a lot of personality in shoes. Okay. Oop, moved it by accident with my finger, but it just double tap on the screen to undo if you move anything by accident. Okay, we're getting that high top that I like, but I feel that it's a little higher, higher than I want. I do love a high top though. Okay, cool. So with that, I am going to, again, I'm going to trim a bit of the foot that I have. Oh, what did I do? Okay, I wanna select, make sure you, your thing is selected. Let's take a look, what are we, yeah, that's, that's good. Trim, I wanna trim Hmm. Oh, I have flip on. Is that it? No. The object is fully trimmed. Maybe symmetry is the problem. Yeah. Symmetry was messing with me. Oh, I definitely don't want to. Okay. Something about symmetry was messing with that. I just unclicked flip and, um, kept trying and undoing if it wasn't working. Now I'm gonna combine parts of the shoe already. So I'm gonna combine the cylinder and the box and I'm gonna do that by selecting both, make sure they're visible and voxel merging. I want the mesh to be a little bit, have a little higher res, so I upped that res. And now I'm gonna add some clay to give it a smoother, that's subtract, turn off subtract on the left. It's really small, not what I want. I want to make the radius bigger. And it's really intense. I'm going to turn the intensity down so it builds upon itself a little milder. I don't want a lot of visible strokes here. And now I'm just, I'm just kind of melding this shape to be... Yeah, I like a little chunk in the back here. That's cool. Very cool. Um, and then I'm gonna give it a smooth. I think I actually will need more. We'll need more um, clay in this crease because there we go. That's more more like it. And you definitely get some lumps, so we're gonna have to smooth all of that out by smoothing. You can adjust the, the uh, intensity of your smooth if you're not getting the results you like. Um, this is all just shaping. So I'm shaping the shoe to be the base of what I want before I do any sort of detailing. Another thing, I'm going to grab my move brush, make it a little smaller, and I'm gonna round out the toe, and I'm gonna do that for both the top part of the shoe and the bottom. Since this is the left shoe, it's gonna be shaped like that a bit. And then the bottom, same exact thing. I lost the shape I like, so I'm going to redo that because I had some results I didn't want. Cool. My professor who was Italian told me that shoes generally, ooh, go up a little on one side, the inner side. So if I turn symmetry off, I'll get and she said she knew a lot about shoes. 
So they do that and it gives it like a realness. And they go up in the front too. So I'm gonna be loyal to her teachings and try to get it to be that shape. And I can always fix things when I retop. I don't want things to be too lumpy. Um, yeah, I want a really obnoxiously big rubber thing, sole or whatever you would call it. Ooh, I like that. That's something about the shoes on the far right that I like. I also really like how they have like a thicker rubber part at the toe. And I'm thinking if I clone this, I can create that effect by deleting, trimming some of it, maybe even more of that. Okay. Um, moving it into position here and kind of upping the size. And if I do that, maybe I can replicate that look a little. And I mean, it's looking gigantic at the moment, but we will make it smaller. Oh yeah, that's gonna be cool. Okay, so that's pretty fun. Now I'm thinking We could either cut the inside out, build up the sides, or there's one more thing with the shape now that I'm thinking about it. Um, I'm gonna make sure I've got a good top view here. I'm gonna turn off my boy view at the moment cause he's getting in the way. And I'm going to use my move brush to create this shape because this is what shoes tend to do. They have that like inner part. Oh, okay. Not bad. Okay. That's, yep. That's given, that's giving shoe. Okay, cool. There is a weird like low area here that I'm not loving. Okay, nice. So now we need our, we need, I just decided I need a little smoothing here. So I quickly get the smooth in. And we need our sides. Most of the these shoes have like side flaps, um, not the ones on the far left, but the ones uh, in the middle definitely do. So I wanna get that. So I'm gonna grab my gizmo yet again. I'm gonna clone the big piece that I have at the top and I'm gonna try to use that as my sides um and i'm gonna start oop i'm gonna start trimming no that's too much i'm gonna trim accordingly so about that much i think i'm trimming parts of it and then from the top i think there's like, oop, there's the toe area. Okay, and now I'm gonna use my gizmo, scale it up a bit, just cause it's gonna take over. Oh, you know what? Now I'm realizing I'm undoing a bunch because I need to cut out the middle, but leave the 
back in there. So I'm going to trim, but I'm going to use a different trim. I'm going to use lasso on the left. And that gives me the shape that I need because I want the back to exist here. And now I can go back to rectangle and get rid of some of the toe. And for now, this will be fine. I might smooth uh, some of the inner edge here because that's a little rough. Cool. Yeah. Now I'm going to scale it up. Bring it over to my shoe. Okay. Now it looks like it's got those sides like we wanted. Nice. Now I'm gonna keep all of these parts separate for retopping because I want this to be in, in separate parts. It helps keep those hard edges. So I'm, I'm definitely in my mind segregating the shoe into its pieces. Now I wanna make that uh, cylinder a little bit more defined. So I'm going to add a cylinder to the scene. And this is a fun little trick. I'm just validating it making it really small again, bringing it down to where it needs to be and positioning it in the center. This is going to be a cutout. It's going to create going to create a, a good shape. Um, quickly, I'm going to make duplicates to have because I might need it. I always make du duplicates. Um, you know what? Before I do that, I want to duplicate this clone. I say duplicate, but what I really mean is clone. And then I'm going to mask part of this because I want to keep the shape that's in the back. Mask is a lot like trim. I want to keep that shape in the back. Um, but I want to edit this. So I'm <laughs> okay. That's good. So now that we have this shape, we're gonna use what we've got. I'm gonna clone it because it's gonna be useful. Oh. Unmask, so you just select the mask and then drag on your screen and that'll help unmask. I'm gonna keep that part over here and I'm gonna use that to our advantage. So I'm gonna turn back on my boy uh, character so I can see him again and then I'm gonna go back into my little layer thing and I'm gonna do I'm gonna trying to see which okay this is gonna be shoe base I'm gonna rename it okay because I really want to know which is which. And then here is cylinder. We can turn its visibility off, keep it selected, select shoe base, and we're going to voxel merge them at probably one. That's a good amount. Okay. I'm 
I'm giving it some thought, and I think first off, I want to voxel merge it with side, shoe side. So I'm going to rename that shoe side so I know which one. It's a lot of trial and error, as you can see. Now I'm going to select that, turn its visibility off, then shoe side. Now I'm going to voxel merge those. Perfect. Now, oop. now I'm getting the shape that I wanted, and that's not bad. Good. Now I'm going to bring this back over. That's why I kept a second one of this, because I am going to cut out a bit of a bit of the actual shoe here. I'm going to create a tongue that's a shoe tongue that's going to go going to fit right underneath. Sorry, I'm thinking about things. That'll work. Okay. So if I turn the visibility for shoe for the cylinder off and I select the shoe base, now I can voxel merge them. And you'll get that nice little cut out there. And here's where I'm going to smooth some stuff out. This is smoothing is going to be the key at the end where we can get things to look how we want. But okay, so this shoe's got, it's not even, but it doesn't need to be because you're not going to see this area. And any intersecting here is not going to be a big deal either. Because you will not be seeing it. But if you want to smooth it out, it's not a bad thing. Okay, so we've got that. Now, what do we want? We want to get a shoe tongue. And we want, I like the... Um, on the far left, I like how it's got that rubber toe, and I want to create that look. So I'm going to use this this one here um, as my base for that. So I'm going to clone it again because I'm probably going to need it again at some point. And um, probably move that one over. Grab the one that I'm going to be using. Trim. I'm going to trim off all but the tongue, or not the tongue, the, um, I get the, the toe part, I guess going to move it. I'm going to center the pivot again. So reset pivot. Grab that gizmo. Oh, grab that gizmo. And this is a scale up situation or just kind of a lift up situation. Lift up and scale up. There we go. Um, a lot of resizing is going to be necessary here but yeah we're getting we're getting there if i want i can change the colors on some of these pieces to give my eye an easier time which would be probably a great idea Okay, I want, I like it about that size, but I want this to fit under it. So what do I do in that situation? I'm going to have to mask, mask part of my, I'm going to have to move this first off because it's in the way. And then here I'm going to mask, I don't want to change all of it. I just want to change some. Select mask is the is the little one I'm looking for, and I'm I don't know what it's usually right there. Let's see. There it is, all the way at the top. I'm gonna use a rectangle. Mm, no, there we go. That's how much. And I'm now I'm gonna use my move tool to just move things along. And reduce the size of it quite a bit because I want to even that out. 
and I want to fit it into it. There we go. Get the other side now. You know, this is just by feel, essentially. Cool. So I'm tucking in sides of the shoe. Nice, nice. Um, I'm going to need this to make the shoe tongue and the laces. The shoe body here. I've got I've got the uh, urge to combine it to the bottom part because I'm liking how they look combined, to be honest. Um, I think I'm gonna gonna undo my mask first off because that's not gonna take me anywhere. For now, I'm gonna leave as is, but I'm gonna think about combining parts of this. And while I'm at it, I gotta smooth out some, I'm gonna change my size here, smooth out something here. Whoop. Use your two fingers to zoom in or zoom out, similar to like Procreate or all the other apps really on this program or on the app, on the iPad. I'm gonna smooth out this area. Eventually we'll be, that's actually fine. If we just, got another shoe in the way here. Okay, I'm not loving it, so I'm going to undo all of that. I I don't want it to have a hard edge, but I also don't like the way it's eating up at the edge. And I think maybe, maybe it's just the size of my brush. Hmm. Maybe it's the, the resolution I'm at. Regardless, there's, there's tons of ways to deal with that and... I don't have to worry about it at the moment. I'm gonna grab this again. Let's make another clone of it so we have it. And here's where I'm gonna build my tongue, my shoe tongue, which is that middle thing that flips underneath. I'm gonna cut I'm cutting away anything that's not where the shoe tongue is. Um, I think the lasso tool will come in handy here. It is a weird shape. Our boy's hand is in the way, so we gotta turn him off for a second, or his visibility. What does a shoe tongue look like? It's rounded. Don't need a lot of extra material here. Okay, and I'm now just gonna really um, smooth everything out a bit. You'll see that a major aspect of what I do is using shapes oh shapes for other purposes then for more than one purpose so like i had that base shoe that i'm using kind of to create the whole the whole shoe the whole like the tongues being built from the base the bottom all of that so now we'll need to use a move tool to give it the rounded tongue that it needs And now I'm gonna move it into place to see how it looks in place. Cause then we'll do some more adjusting. Cool. Okay. All right, so it's not quite fitting, but that's okay. Cause 
That's why we have the move tool. I'm gonna make it a little bigger. There we go. I'm gonna, I don't know how, if this should have an angle or not, thinking, thinking about it really. So I'm definitely gonna delete part of the shoe that's under there. I'm also gonna move this out a bit. Even though the references have it in, I kinda wanna Yeah, a thicker. Another thing is I see that the shape of the shoe in the references goes like that a bit. Um, and I like that. Um, the tongue needs to be tucked in. to give it the look that we need. So it's okay if you're seeing parts of the shoe underneath because I'm just gonna delete that soon. Maybe this is a bit high, but the shape was good. So maybe this is a bit, there we go. So we've got a cool looking situation here. That'll flatten out the bottom a bit. Cool, he's got a huge base happening. This is just me adjusting, adjusting and adjusting and adjusting. Cool. I kind of really like how extreme the pieces are. Now I am wondering if I should match the ends of this to the end of the top part here. Um, I think so, but I think our best route would be to trim it. I've got lasso on, I need, here we're doing line, line is fun. That's, oop, anything in the, ooh, anything in white will be trimmed. Okay. And that, it went all the way through, which is what we wanted. Okay, that looks cool. Actually, I think what we should do is move uh, looking at a weird head here. Okay. Move that in a bit. Yeah. You'll also notice that I use the move tool quite a bit. It's a really important tool.
Um, I was moving that around, but I'm not quite sure if I want to do that anymore. What I really want to do is delete part of the, whatever part of the foot that's sticking out, it's that. So I'm going to, again, with the trim, oh, that'll be fine. Wee. Okay. I cut out a lot of the shoe there. That was underneath. Okay, we've got the tongue, we've got that. It's looking kind of rough at the moment, but bear with me. I am going to combine a couple pieces here. I'm gonna combine that, which is shoe side, with this, which is shoe base, by voxel merging at like 162. That should be good. And now I'm gonna just smooth it out because I like the thickness here. It creates the shoe itself, so that's nice, that's good. Here I'm just kind of, I want the bottom of the shoe to be flat, so I'm kind of like giving that a little zhuzh, a little fix, fix upper. Okay, I'm giving this some Okay, that's good. I actually want to really Slim that down a bit. Yeah, it's got a rounded feel. Um, kind of want to see just next to my body what it looks like. It's looking cool. What don't I like? It needs laces, and I really like how none of these have tied laces. They're just kind of like a, a loop that goes from one thing to the next. I think that's pretty cool. Um, I need to change the shape of the tongue even more, of course. It's never ending with the tongue. Actually think it'd be cool if this goes in a bit. Oh. Nope, don't like it. Undo, undo, undo. But this will have to be moved in a bit too small of a range here. I like that, I like that. Get it in to the shoe. Cool. And I'm going to pull some of this shoe out because I want it to cover the tongue. That's the tongue should fit into the shoe. Oops. Mm. Oh, I got lost in some geometry here. Where am I? Yeah, this should be more curved. Of 
cool. Okay, that's better. I want to add a little clay to this area because I think I want it to stand out. This side too. All around the, the rim. Good. I know it seems like I'm adding a lot, but I'm going to smooth it out and that's going to make it lose some of its shape. There we go, we're smoothing, we're smoothing. Cool. And now we're gonna use the move tool to move everything into place here. We grab our move tool, bring the radius down a bit. Bring the radius down a lot. I'm trying to get as even of a look as I can. And it's great because in retop, when I retop, I'll be able to get the evenness. It, it always looks a little Oh, no, nah, I don't want mask. It always looks a little mushy in Nomad. Um, there's always like edges I'm not in love with, but I can always I can fix all of that later in the process so I don't stress about it. It's more about just getting the organic shapes than what it's going to look like in the end at this point. Cool. Okay. Um, I don't want this edge to be quite so hard, so I'm going to up the intensity and smooth it. And maybe I'll even use my move tool to get that edge to round out. Okay, there's a weird lump here I'm not crazy for, but it'll be fixed in time. Also, this lump. Cool, okay. Another thing I want to, I've decided I want to bring this in size down a bit which means got to bring this one down to to match. What's underneath here, part of that. So I'm going to delete that or trim it with my lasso. So I don't see it. I want to see part of one part of the shoe through another. That's pretty cool. Looking nice, looking good. We've got the basic elements of the shoe defined now. I'm thinking about, I guess laces can be next. I wanna, I really like the loops that all of these shoes have really. Um, the middle ones don't really have them, but I think that'll be something we can create with a torus. So I've got a torus in here. Um, it's annoying because I want to move it right off the bat to see but I can't. I want to move it into place. Hmm. 
I'm going to turn my boy character visibility off while I work on this Taurus. I think that size, even though I can barely see, is going to be okay. I need to move it down to the shoe and place it where a hole, ring hole would be. Ring hole. Yeah, of course, this is something I can do in Maya too, easily, because they have the Taurus option there. So I'm not going to stress about this because I might redo it in the not too distant future. Creating those made me realize how low one side is. I'm going to try to fix that. I'm going to move ooh, on a much larger scale it up. This is why it's always a work in progress. There's, I'm going to mask, oh, no, I want to mask this. I want to delete essentially this pointy part. And by reversing the mask, I find reversing the mask to be very tricky in uh, Nomad. Like, it used to be easy, and now it does not listen to me. Come on. Uh, reverse, reverse. There we go. I'm, I think I had unmask on. Sorry. Um, I'm going to smooth out this area. Actually, I'm just going to delete part of it and then see what happens. Mm, that's what happens, huh? Nothing. Let's just use our smooth, and that works. Not sure why trim wasn't working, but. All right, now if I move it, if I can move it all into its home here. I really want to just essentially smooth it all out. I'm unmasking, trying to unmask, there we go, and trying to just reshape this a bit. And in part, the tongue will help me cover it up because I'll just move the tongue over it, but I wanted to get as much of it out of the way as possible. Okay, that really helped me see something that this needed, which was part of the shoe needed to go up higher. That's cool. Okay, all right, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. This side too, let's, let's match. Okay, cool, all right, I'm much happier with that. 
but now I have to move all my little loops to a different spot. So, boom. The tube tool. I'm going to select curve on the left for tube and I'm going to draw a tube. And of course that's not quite what we need it to look like, but that's all right. That's okay. Now we're going to, the tube tool is great. This is like one of the best tools in a nomad, in my opinion. Because when I was doing this in Maya, I was extruding along a curve to create shoelaces. And that was just way more tedious. And like, it's so easy to use your pen to move it around versus your mouse and get that organic shape. This is like prime example of what organic shapes Okay, I'm not hating it. Um, however, you can add another, uh, I guess, point by just clicking hard on the line itself, on the curve itself. And what I want to do is make this thinner, but only where it's tucking in. And then I want it to be thicker in the middle. So how would I do that? I adding another first off I want everything to be a little bit closer to that except for this okay radius if I do that I can now control the radius of all different points. So I went and clicked the radius at the top. Whoop. I'm liking it. Oh good, I deleted one. I wanted to delete one because I felt like I had too many. Now here's what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to add one, but I'm going to lift it. And I'm going to have to lift both of them quite a bit. There we go. I think I want it to be chunky. I like the chunky look. Okay, not bad. This is a little, the overlap here is a little odd to me, but I'm 
the fabric could just be being pushed down. So I don't think it looks that weird. I'm going to validate that, meaning I'm going to lock it in. And now I'm going to duplicate it and see what happens. So I'm going to clone it. I'm going to attempt to bring it to a different spot. This may not work, it does not always work, but it's good, good time saver if it does. Uh, I accidentally hit pivot. Uh, not pin, align. Scaled it up by accident. Okay. This is where our handy dandy move tool comes in handy dandy. <laughs> we can just gently move parts of it to get to where we want it to be. That's a good fit. You can give it kind of its own shape now. So it doesn't look exactly like the one underneath it. Speaking of the one underneath it, I want to just fix up this area just a touch. I don't really mind the overlap there though. I think it's so, so minimal and you won't really notice it. Okay, we've got two loops there. We would need two more. Okay, I'm giving everything a hard look. I'm wondering if flatten will help me with these. I'm trying to flatten out the, the lace a little. I don't hate that at all. I think it's giving it more of a lace vibe. This is a brush I don't use that often, but I'm seeing that when I do, it's a very handy brush. And when we retop it, it'll definitely smooth it out even more and flatten it out even more. We'll leave that a little bit alone. Okay. And now I'm going to move a bit of that in. I'm making progress, y'all. One thing I'm noticing is this area here. It's like high up. But, ooh, way too much. I just want to flatten it out a bit there. I'm being sort of gentle with this. Now it is, ooh. It's okay if it's, you can see the strokes and it's not perfect because retopping, that's what retopping is for. Okay, cool. I'm gonna, oh, I'm doing a really mild smooth now trying to on these laces giving them that organic feel make sure they're selected when you're doing it otherwise you're not going to see anything happen and by selected i just mean you got to tap on it okay oh ooh, la la oh, and i lost it oh this shoe is going to be so cute he's going to look so cute you guys uh i'm so excited 
I do a little movie movie, get it out of its overlap zone. Okay. Not loving that specific part. Debating how to do this most effectively. And I'm thinking a little smooth and just a little clay, but like a tiny line of clay there. Not sub smooth. Oh no. Relax. Relax is. If you're noticing your smooth isn't working well, it, relax might be on. It's for very minor smoothing, minor things. So just be aware of that relax button. I'm just moving around the loop a bit so it's more convincing that. And we gotta move it in. We gotta. All right, I switched my alignment for that to help me better align it. There we go. I'm wondering if that's good enough. I think. I think it is. Oh, ah, I'm always accidentally scaling. Just gonna double tap with two fingers on the screen to undo that. Oh, I had relax still on. There we go. Cool. Okay. That looks way better. Cool. Now we got to get some more laces and we're almost finished with the sculpting and then we can retop. Okay, I don't hate that, and I only need to get this part out of that. Good. One thing I want to do is just maybe flatten that just a touch. And what I'm doing is not flattening it, I'm filling it. So undo that on the left. There we go. It's fine. I like to zoom out a lot just to see next to the character, what we've got. Mm, this is, I just want to round out that part. Something I've noticed, meaning I also need to round out this part Just something I noticed. Know the shoes looking lumpy that's okay like I said it'll be a fast fix all right we need one more shoelace
And I want to thicken that up like the one on the far right, because I think that looks cool. And I might connect it to the bottom here now. Um, actually, I will. So we have this, we have this and this. Oh, I'm going to name bottom. I'm going to name that just bottom. And then I guess I'll name that like bottom two or something. Oh, no, I spelled that wrong. That's okay. That plus this join. Oh, I didn't mean to join it. I meant to voxel merge it. Now if I smooth it, they should smooth together. I don't know what... Oh, this is the... Um, Gonna trim that. Nice. Okay. Back to this. I get to flatten and merge and all that quote good stuff. And it still's got that hard line that I like. Still does. Mm -hmm. Getting lost in the uh, throws of it here. Okay, nice. Now it's got that rubber tip that we love. Maybe a crease would be helpful here. Yeah, that's not bad crease here just to remind us when we retop that we have a hard line and let's grab that other lace so we've got another lace here gizmo clone Okay, so I think uh, the last thing I want to do is give it a little loop like that picture on the left has in the back, he uh, the heel part. Oh, and maybe those three lines. I kind of like that and I kind of want that to be a texture instead of um, painting it on later. So let's create a tube. Oh, and curve, and that will give us that. It's way too many, too many uh, spline points. Can't quite remember how to delete spline, spline points, but it's possible. Uh, I lost myself here. Tube, curve, it's way more than I wanted. That's cool, 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 cool. There, I'm giving it flatness by scaling parts of it in. Mm. 
Right, so I'm, I'm creating its width right now. I'm not even sure if it's in the area I want it to be in. I created a closed loop because it doesn't seem to matter either way if it's closed or not, but let me just validate it and just get on with uh, experimenting here. Align, if I do that, I'm giving it the width I want, and I really want a lot of width. Not that much. Now I'm going to move part of it. Mm. I wonder why there are two. That's something to think about. Okay, not liking it. Great news, we can use the Taurus to do the same thing. So I'm gonna delete, create, Taurus. And of course that's here. I'm just gonna validate it the way it is. Bring it down with our gizmo. Loop it around here. Of course it's gonna be way too Putting it in the back here. Now I can make it chunkier. Make it, I can move it. Give it that kind of vibe. Oh, what am I doing? Symmetries on. I was wondering what was going on with this. That might have been the problem with the uh, curve, too, also. Symmetry. Oh, definitely in the wrong spot here. Let's move it and kind of. accidentally twisted it gonna get a uh, I don't want a front view I want a back view of this and that's actually close to what I what I want maybe bring it in a little twist it a little bring it down a little cool yeah that's that's not bad all right look at that um, should I do the three lines is the question. Is that too name brandy? My stomach is a growling right now. I think I want to veer away from doing any sort of branding, so I'm going to not add the three lines at the moment. So I'm just going to keep the shoe the way it is, and I'm going to retop the whole thing in Cozy Blanket. And then you guys can join me, and we will have a shoe for our character, and it's going to be awesome. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. This is our shoe part one.